everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Now, this video is going to be super different from anything I've ever done on this YouTube channel. Now, when this channel started a couple of years ago, it was meant to be a Minecraft only channel, but from Minecraft, I grew out of it and started to take interest in other games now i have kind of come back to minecraft and to my old world and started building some stuff and it is pretty big it is my creative world and it is super nice so today i'm going to give you a full walkthrough of my entire world this may be a long video but i'll try and shorten it as much as possible so let's get right into it so this is my first house it it was located right next to a ravine, which proved useful for mining. My second house, it had two rooms, which were separated by a wall and some furnaces and crafting tables that were- Here is a useless hut that you can use to sleep. Here is my villager farm. I put villagers in a minecart and from a nearby village and brought them all the way here and made them make love to each other by putting a lot of doors around them to produce a villager farm of villagers that- over here is my igloo. Inside my igloo, I have a little water fountain, plenty of places to sleep, and a snow golem. There's a cactus farm. When the cactus grows, it touches this block. The cactus cannot grow next to a block, so the block breaks, falls into the water, and goes into a hopper that's in the middle. Then, the hopper transfers the item into the crates that are below. Here is my sugarcane farm. The sugarcane grows. I press this button. The pistons stick out pushes the sugarcane into water that then leads to a hopper that then leads into this chest. Here is my instant chicken farm. Here is my third house. I will give you guys a brief tour. Now it did not look like this on the inside at first, but I remodeled it to make it look nicer. This is a storage area. Over here is the bedroom with bunk beds. Come up to the second floor. I have an enchanting area, a brewing area. Come on up to the third floor, where I have nothing, just a lot of room. Come up to the next floor, which is actually the roof, where I just have a crafting table. So, now let's just go on down to the basement. Nether portal, some stuff, some obsidian creating machine, some lava, some chests. Down there is one of my mines where I found diamonds, and that is my third home. This is my house that I use right now. So you come on in. Come to the right. Here's the living room with a TV. Come down the hall. take a right. This is my library with some seats. Come on up here. Here's my pool with a diving board. Come on down over here. Take a right, continue down here. This is my storage room that you can only access by throwing a specific stick, a stick named the storage room key. You have to throw 196 called the storage room key on to this hopper to activate, deactivate the mechanism and come in. Then we have the guest rooms that are here. Here's the redstone allowing me to enter the storage room. Come in here and grab the 19 sticks. Let's come on up these stairs. There's one of my dogs. This is my room. This may look a lot like Stampy's with, with a different model, but if you guys know Stampy Long Nose, I looked up to him a lot when I was younger. This is my nether portal. Down there is my mine. Over there is my balcony, which I'll explore later. This is a working garbage. There's fire down there, and when you throw items onto it, it just burns them. Now, to, act, to, to deactivate this mechanism here, you have to throw a piece of armor on this, and et voila now you can pass through and this is my disco area where you can sit if you go through here you can be the dj come over here is a restaurant that you can eat at this is where you roast chicken you click on it guess what you get roast chicken then you can come eat up here let's get out now it takes a lot of redstone to power this so let's come through this painting and take out the item I have here. Now this is a quick exit that I use. This is the pig pen, this is my farm, but for now let's just take a right and come down over here. This is my restaurant where you can eat and everything on the menu is here and it is actually one of my most more recent creations. A nice view of the water is there. Here is my farm. I have sheep, cows, donkeys, horses, 
llamas, which are were just added to the game. A chicken farm and a pig farm. My dog house is up here. Come on in, and they have some water and a couple of things to play with. Here is my jungle tree house. Come on up and hang out. Here is my library, my social library, where you can come, read, and sit down in the minecarts and have a jolly time. Next up, we have another one of my houses, but I, tra I converted this house into a motel slash hotel. Here is a reception with a villager. Rooms here, you got a second floor, you got some more rooms up here. Have a little fair with some booths up, like just a place that you can go to to get some loot, but I never really added anything, but still looks nice. Next, we have my cake restaurant, where all they sell is cakes. Super nice, super tasty, and I even called it Stampy's Hungry Dream or Cake on the Lake because I added some water next to it. As you can tell, Stampy was, in I was inspired by Stampy. Next up, we have my gigantic pig and sheep. Nothing is inside of them. Here is the location of one of the roller coasters I've built. Just come in here, grab yourself a minecart, place it there, press the button and off you go. This is my, this is my food labs shop. Now it, every room is color coded and inside of every room is every single item that is the same color of the room. But you know what's funny? I never ever got through with myself to actually add the items in. Down here is my trade station. Here's where you get the tickets. You come on down here and here are all the stops you have. Now I never really ever made any stops but i have one that goes to the paratel motel press the second button and a bunch of mine cards come but there is no more mine cards to get mine cards to come you just come on over here place a mine card press on this pressure plate then let's just follow the mine card to see where it goes now you get a good look at all the redstone it comes up here all the way up to here where it goes in this tube and drops down and the tube is right here so there is the minecart now what happens then i press this button and the tube opens and the minecart comes rushing through right here so let's say i want to go here which is already selected if i want to reset i just click this it is now reset so i'm gonna go here it lights up I come in here, I press this button, and then it takes me to the Paratel Hotel, which we were just at. Do you guys remember? Anyways, let's go back. Now we'll go the other way and come here where I'll get off, push the minecart over here, step on the pressure plate, and it goes back into the tube where I can reuse it. Here is my clothing shop, which contains every single color of dyed leather armor that you can choose from. Over here lies my bed block shop. Now inside it contains every single different colored bed. So next up I have my animal center. Are you tired of dragging your animal around? Bring them up here, drop them through this hole. Sounds harsh, but they land into water where they can have a safe haven surrounded by gigantic faces of themselves and walk underneath them and see the animals as you are the public you can come over here and have the chance of seeing bats next up i have my player versus player battlefields where you can fight versus your friends in to get into that arena right there you have to come all the way up here drop forward and try and get into this tree by doing so you'll go up you can push forward land on these other slime blocks and then land in the water here is my bird sanctuary that is full of parrots to get up you have to come up these stairs come up these stairs then come up this ladder then drop from the top so the parrots cannot get out but they are everywhere and you know what they really like a good tune so Oh, there we go. This guy's getting into it. Parents dance when you play music. Up here, up here is a little cottage that my friend made. It's a mansion that I decided to build in the sky with my 
molar bear pen. This is a game called Egg Battles where you throw eggs at people and if you get hit by an egg, you are eliminated. Then we have my amusement park, that is a work in progress, I call it another day in paradise. Now here is how you enter, then you come over here to the right, and you get to see some elder guardians. Here is one of the rides that consists of eliminating the other players that are on a minecart once you all get to the top. A maze that I made myself, that seems that is under the ride that I just explained. The exit is at the left corner. You are right next to the boat racing ride, where, as you know from the title, is boat racing. It's 1v1, so one player on the left, one player on the right, and you gotta go through these series of turns. Here is the souvenir slash gift shop that I made for the amusement park. Here is a gigantic hole I call the hell pit that I am going to make a roller coaster in but I you guys want to see a secret if you shoot an arrow at the bottom right corner of this block which i just missed it then opens up to a secret area which you have little time to access man i suck at this and it comes back into the pool area that is in my actual house i have a bunch of hidden things and you're about to see another in the basement of my third house, as you can see, this looks familiar. If you come behind the nether portal, there's a passage. Now, this is not supposed to be secret. You can fly all the way down and come down over here. You can climb this ladder and break this block. Now, you'll come to the Paratel Motel. Now, this used to just be a secret passage I would use to get from my house to house. Then, if you come back, to where I did make an area from, right here. And if you throw any random item onto this, this will open up here to reveal a secret storage area, which I will be honest with you, I do not use whatsoever. To deactivate this, you just have to come behind the painting here, walk down here, and simple redstone puts it together. Just take the item out, come back out, and you'll notice that it is now closed anyways guys that is my minecraft world tour this is everything that i could remember to show you and if there is something i forgot to show in this video well that is my fault and i apologize i just cannot remember anything else that i built in this world so leave a like if you enjoyed and leave a like if you think my creations are super awesome now Thank you for watching, please subscribe for more gameplay and content, and I might just make some more Minecraft videos on me and friends just building random structures in this world. So, I hope to see every last one of you in the next video.